Minister of State for Environment Chief Sharon Rikazo has charged the new members of the Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project, HYPEREP, and stakeholders in the Ogoni Cleanup Project to synergize for a seamless operation. The minister gave the charge at the maiden retreat for the governing structures of the revamped HYPEREP. Correspondent Joyce Lina Lakachada attended the retreat and now completes the report. The Minister of State for Environment, Chief Sharon Ikiazo, welcomed the newly appointed coordinator for the project, Dr. Ferdinand Dumbari Gyadam. She informed him that a lot is expected of him to set the project back on track and accelerate actions on all deliverables in line with international best practice. She said the retreat is to clarify the different rules of each of the arms of as contained in the Gazette establishing the project. Provide the general policy guidelines relating to her functions. Recording in progress, the Board of Trustees carry out financial oversight that ensures the use of financial controls, ensuring the funds are properly utilized in accordance with established financial policies and guidelines. The Project Coordination Office, on the other hand, is responsible for the overall execution of the project for which it was established while the Central Representative Advisory Committee shall establish and maintain primary contact between Hybrid and the Ogoni communities. Speaking the coordinator Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project, HYPREP, Dr. Ferdinand Dumbari Gadam said he is committed to implementing the recommendations of the UNEP report to the latter with an intent to improve the lives of the people living in Ogoni land. We are here to achieve one goal, a purpose-driven vision that is laced with the right philosophy to work, work ethics, and culture, and we strive to succeed. We will bring together a collective pool of knowledge, experience, and determination to deliver a clean, resilient, and livable environment for the living people. The technical advisor, United Nations Environment Programme, Mike Cohen said lack of transparency and accountability compromised the forced Ogoni land remediation project, calling on the federal government to learn from the first crash. The important thing is to learn the lessons of the past. The first high prep crashed and burnt, and we need to understand why. There was a lack of transparency, there was a lack of accountability, and sadly it failed. But we're on to high prep two and we're making incremental improvements. The United Nations Environment Programme is the body that produced a report for Ogoni land cleanup in 2012. The focus of the retreat is the Ogoni Land Economic Development Programme, Ogoni Sustainable Water Scheme and Power Supply Programme, Center for Excellence on Environmental Restoration, Public Health Survey and Cohort Studies and Remediation. Joycelyn Elakeche Ada, ASO Television News.